Hi, Don Monroe here. I had a question today and I want to respond to this. How do we send a form and then when we get responses back, what can I do with them in Outlook to really make a workflow that is going to be efficient for myself and my team? So um, here I am in Microsoft Forms and I just want to show before we go, I've got just one question, ice cream. <laughs> That's the most important thing. And I'm looking, I want to check the settings before I get this sent out. So for sure I want to make sure anyone can respond. And then, um, so that, that way it doesn't get locked down, uh, only allowing people in my organization. And then down here towards the bottom, do you need a custom thank you? Do you want a receipt uh, for the people that sent it? And, and most importantly, I've got a check mark, get email notification of each response. Because when the form comes through, I want to know every time it gets submitted. So once I have got that checked, then go ahead and look at collect responses. Again, verifying that anyone can respond. Let's get a nice short URL for that. Copy it. Why don't they just give you a short one to begin with? I don't know. And then here you could put in email addresses. Note that you could also get a QR code if you're maybe doing some printed materials or you want this on a presentation. You could do that uh, live in a virtual meeting or in a person-to-person -person, uh, presentation. Or you could even embed this form on a website. You've got the embed code there. You copy and get that to your website manager. But once I have copied that, uh, let's go back here, that um, uh, response uh, link, I've got it. Then what I'm going to do is uh, I emailed that to my people. Now I'm jumping over here to Outlook because I wanted to show you what I might do in Outlook. And um, so I answered it, I sent it to my other email addresses and I answered the form in those email addresses. So just to, just to show you, let's look at this count, it's the least messy. So on this, this is how I emailed it and it sent that out for other people to fill out. That was the easiest way to do it. I clicked it and I responded from one of these accounts. Now let's see what's happening in the inbox. Here we go. And this is what it comes back to me. Let's open this up so you can see this individual message. Here it is. Okay. So here, sample form, it came in. I got it from an anonymous submitter. You can change your settings in there so you know. Now we can view the results of the form. So this is what I can click and I can go and see what actually came in. And here it's brought me to the responses of my form. All right, so from here, if you're getting a bunch in, it's going to tell you how many responses. And if you want to look at individuals, you go to view results and here you can go one at a time. So if you have multiple, you can click through them. Here's where you can print an individual response. It's a question I get asked a lot. And so from here, I'm loving this. I, I got information that the form had come in. Now, how can I get this to someone else? Because I noticed down here in the settings, it doesn't give me an option to add other email addresses, does it? That's something that's missing. That would be a nice add, Microsoft. Um, but when it comes to my email, and I know I can power automate and add something so it sends it to more than one, but let's take care of it just in Outlook. That's probably what you're going to have to do. So when I get a form like this, Microsoft Forms, this is the response form coming in. I could make a quick step. Now a quick step can be new quick step. You can move something to a folder. So maybe I have all form responses put in one email folder. That would be a way to handle it. Maybe I could categorize them. 
maybe um, I want to always forward this to Susie in accounting that's going to take care of stuff. So I can set up a quick step. Now these are not automatic. I actually have to come in here and activate these things. So I click on the email and I say, hey, forward it. And I'll just, I'll just put you on one of these so you can see. When you, when you click to set it up the very first time, you name it. So if this could be uh, move to ice cream choices. And then you make a folder you make a folder in here um, or uh, choose one you've already got and pop it in there okay so you it looks like you probably need to make that before you come in other folder yeah there's new you can make it from in here just make sure you're in the right email address and you're putting the folder in your right inbox um, area okay so that's how you do that and I've got some set up so there I could pardon me, quick steps, form responses. Uh, that one's a, a forward and this one is moving, moving to folders. So you set these up however you want. Now in some cases, what you really want is an automated action and that would be a rule. So quick step, you set it up, but you activate it. A rule is something you're gonna set up and you create it and you walk through step by step. So when I get something from Microsoft Forms, now remember, if you make a bunch of forms, do you want all form responses in one place? Do you want to make different folder for different things? So depending, you may want to have different subject lines or something. But let's just dig a little deeper. From Microsoft Forms, let's do, um, I could move to a folder. Um, that's probably what I would do in this case. Let's look advanced. When it's from micro, Microsoft Forms, what's next? What could we do? Move it to a folder, assign it to a category. Here, forward it uh, to people. Okay, so depending what you need, this is where you set it up. Now remember the rules are automated, so this is going to happen without me doing anything else, saving me time in my work day. So I hope this helps, um, and uh, be sure and subscribe. Thank you.